Hi, this is Mike with 1966 C10 LS conversion again. Uh, just wanted to show you this is my uh, 66 Chevy short bed and in the purchase of process of purchasing it I wanted to verify the title with the VIN number and all that stuff and man it took me a lot of searching to find out where the VIN tags are on these older vehicles it's not like they are anymore but this is in the transition phase of when they were just starting to come around and so I wanted to show you real quick on a 1966 at least and I think they vary from year to year but on a 1966 right up here if you notice there is a plaque and it should have a, just a real simple uh, VIN number on there that'll match up with uh, your title and so you can tell if the truck is and then there's one other place to verify and if you come over here and pop the hood and it's probably too dark to be able to see but if you look right down here you can see your front rail and on the top of the rail will be a number stamped that will show you that should correspond with the one that's in the cab and should correspond to what's on your title if everything's on the up and up. Mine was. I went ahead and purchased the truck. Uh, next thing I'm doing is, is verifying what motor I've got in this. Uh, it's, as far as I can tell, is a 283. Um, got to check there's some numbers down in here, I think, around the back, below the heads, you know, in the back over here that I can. Uh, you know, I checked right here, and if you you look, you can see what heads you've got. Uh, really, the big one was the fuel heads, the, the double camel humps, and, and this isn't those. Uh, so I don't really have anything exciting here. Uh, it is and it isn't. For me, I want to go with the LS conversion, so all this stuff's going anyway. But there you go, a couple ways to, to, to verify what you've got. Thanks.